Hey, Uncle Mark in the Mothership, Three String Cigar Box Guitar, JJ Kale, this is Magnolia. This is just a beautiful, beautiful song with some fun, fun chords in it that are very easy to play. And so I'm going to play a little bit of it and then we'll break it all down. <laughs> summer breeze makes me think of my baby left down in New Orleans I left down in New Orleans Magnolia you sweet thing you're driving me mad Gotta get back to you, babe You're the best I ever had You're the best I ever had You whisper good morning So gently in my ear I'm coming home to What do we got? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. These are wound electric guitar strings. I'm playing through a uh, Boss, a uh, Roland Mini Cube, and I have some interesting settings on it this time. So we'll take a look at that at the end of the video. So G, G sharp, A. Important chord in this song, by the way, is open G and A. B flat B C. We're going to use a variation of C on that fifth fret. C sharp D D sharp E F. And we're going to use a variation of that F as well. So this this song revolves around two chords. This modulates from here on this tenth fret to the fifth fret back and forth. And the chord I want you to use is an F M A J. And you know, an F on the ninth fret bar would look like this. Would look like 10, 10, 10. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to change it to 10, 10, 9. So, third finger here, or the second finger, is going to be on that 10th fret. Third finger on the 10th fret like so. So you're going to look like that. And then that first finger, you're going to tuck up in here, and that's that chord. That's the shape of an M-A-J chord. Um, for you purists out there, I don't call this a major seventh, even though that's what it would be in six string nomenclature. I call it an M-A-J, and the reason being is if I call it a major chord, people will go, well, that's a major chord. So I want to differentiate between the two, and I digressed a little bit, but we're just going to call it an F M A J, and so it's there, there, and there, and then you're going to take this shape and you're going to slide it from ten to five, just like so. Five, five, four, five, five, four. And it just goes back and forth. So from here to there, from here to there. So you start on the F M A J. Ripple will sing in. Back to the five. Soft summer breeze. So the problem with playing chord shapes where your finger, first finger, is tucked in like this is that as you move, okay, back and forth, it tends to drift. So you end up doing that, and that's not what we want. We want it to stay tucked in here, okay? So what I tend to do is when I look at it, I go for my second finger first, 
and then get my third finger there and then tuck it in. So I'm kind of tucked in like so. Okay? And that's how I think of it. It's tucked in and uh, my finger is facing this way, not this way. It's not I'm not doing that. I'm kind of tucked in a little bit. And that's just the way my hand seems to work and I'll show you little bit of how it looks, you know? I'm just tucked in there. Um, it's kind of like putting your finger to bed and tucking it in. That's what I think of. And I want you to slide back and forth until you get the idea of separate shapes. So slide down, slide up, slide down, slide up, whippoorwill, slide down, singing. Soft summer breeze Makes me think of my baby I live down in New Orleans And so this song has a seesaw to it Seesaw So think of it like that Seesaw So it's a seesaw song in my mind. That's my Martian brain thinks of it like this. Thinks of it as a seesaw. So just remember that. So those two chords are it. The other two chords are A minor and G. Now, you don't need to do the full A minor. You can just do A. Whisper good morning. You can just do it as a bar, two, 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 just like that, two, 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 A. G, G sharp, A. Gently in G, my ear, A. Coming home to you, babe. And then get ready to come up to 10. I'll soon be there. And you start the seesaw again. So think about it that way. The song works with a lyric, second lyric, the A, or a minor whisper good morning part and then it does a little jam and a little playing around and that's just really fun to mess with it's it's just a bunch of fun and the note is here that is in the song so you're looking at 12 13 14 15 16 and you're going to bend up to that 17th note and you're going to go so listen to how this works. That's the note. That's the signature note of the song. A lot of songs have signatures that you always hear, especially Credence has this intro signature sound that you know it's Credence. Um, this song has a signature note. And that's the signature note. So just remember where it is, and I just look between the dots, and I'm taking that note and bending it to this note. So the difference. So it's like going, except I'm doing it in one bend. And that's it. So that's how the song works. So the first lyric, then the second lyric, then the uh, interlude part, the whisper good morning part, and then it goes into a little solo, and you can meander around. Um, in the companion video, I use a harmonica and I solo around a little bit. And then it comes back to Magnolia, you sweet thing, you're the best I ever had. So that's how the song phrases itself out. So just remember the seesaw part. Seesaw, seesaw. So that's the vibe of the song. So just think, Magnolia, you sweet thing, you're driving me mad, gotta get back to you, babe, you're the best I ever had. And think of it as a seesaw, and it'll make it a lot easier to learn it. 
just a tremendous song. Thank you so much for everything you do for me and your comments and the wonderful song ideas. I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, I do have a PayPal link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you for all your generous donations. A buck a show is all we ask. And I do have a Facebook page, Cigar BX Blue. Um, I told you I'd show you my settings on my cube. So here are my settings, and I'm using an interesting effect called Chorus. And Chorus is kind of like a doubler. So when I play with Chorus, it sounds a little richer. Uh, and it and I just think it adds something to this song. Every time I play these MAJ major chords, I like to add some. Also, my reverb is pretty high right now. So what happens is with reverb at that, at that level, you get a very delicious, hear that? I like that deliciousness. Also without the chorus, it sounds like this. And adding the chorus, so it's a very subtle change. Um, effects, I believe, should be used very subtly. So be aware for using too much effect. That, that's something that I have to keep teaching myself because I like blasting out effects. It's just what I do. And so I have to keep that dragon at bay, so to speak. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, and we'll talk again soon.